sugar cane, sweet sugar cane. The sweetness of our southern trees. In order to remove those particular matter. And fan we experience a lot of wear. Uh, and uh, the, the life of the fan is not, not that prolonged. So this is, this is a picture of our, one of our ID fans right after grinding. We see that the blades are completely damaged. And uh, so uh, we have to do a lot of reconditioning on these blades in order to use it for the next season. Now talking about the, the fan on the right, which is mounted between the scrubber and the stack, this setup is in one of the Florida mills. And uh, just by observation, we know that the, the hot flue gases coming out of the boiler are initially cooled by the stack, by the scrubbing section. And so the fan blade sees uh, gases at a lower temperature. And they're quite dense compared to the first setup. And obviously, the particulate matter is very low compared to the first section. These were uh, the stats on the fan. Uh, as you can see, the density on the fans in the first setup was lower. And uh, by having a lower density, uh, you would have to, uh, by having a high, higher density, I'm sorry, having a higher density, the, the physical size of the fan could be one size less. These are the, some fan experts. If you have any questions regarding fan reconditioning, fan repairs, uh, we have some uh, expert vendors on the, on the other, in the other room. <coughs> Moving on to our next topic. It's a pH control equipment and lime dosing. So that is our peristolic pump. So Westfield Sugars uses a peristolic pump to meter the lime into a raw juice line. And uh, this would be a schematic of how we have it scheduled. As you can see, that's our, that's our pump metering the lime into the raw juice line. And we have some uh, obstructions which promote agitation before it actually goes to, there's a sample line coming in and we have an ABB probe in order to detect the pH and um, meter the pump, meter the flow. So the pump is on a VFD. It speeds up and slows down to maintain a certain pH. And uh, this, uh, this is how the Westfield sugar has it, has it uh, put. This is some information about the pH probe and converter. That's, that's how the setup is. That's how it's installed in the field. And this is a setup um, in Cora, Texas. So uh, they have a progressive cavity pump, which meters the lime, again on a VFD, uh, to right uh, past the flash tank. So we put it before the flash tank. We are injecting lime before the flash tank in Grover, Texas. They do it after the flash tank. And uh, they again have this, uh, this obstructions. They're basically pieces of plate to promote agitation. And they collect a sample past the uh, agitator. And uh, the sample line again goes into that, uh, to a chamber where they have a pH probe. And they, they, they detect the pH. And then they make adjustment using VFD speeding up the pump or slowing down. That would be a setup. As you can see, that, that, that picture shows uh, the pump uh, being mounted, that area. The pump was probably taken down in order to clean and rinse and get it ready for the next season. That's, uh, that's a picture of their pump uh, uh, pH probe being installed. All right, so moving on to our third topic, which is knife preparation, cane preparation. So uh, Westfield Sugar Factory and Lula Westfield, we have tried different, uh, different knife equipments. So Lula Sugar Factory has uh, two uh, identical knife equipment. They're uh, designed by POK uh, out of uh, Mexico. 
they have this uh, pocket or a holder design where each knife goes into a holder and is, uh, is pretty much rigid and held in place with a pin. It has its pros and cons. One of the pros being you can easily, in, easily change an individual knife by taking out that pin. And uh, both of their sets are same. Uh, they have 69 knives and they go about roughly one inch away from the carrier slats. And that's a picture of one of their knives. It's, as you can see, it's just a piece of a three-quarter flat bar with a hole in the, hole in the bottom and uh, a domite tip uh, with dimensions one by two by eight welded on top. Very straightforward construction. And uh, coming on to Westfield, these are the two swing back sets that we have. Um, Westfield employs a, a hammer design on the first set. Uh, it's a two inch thick plate with the, so that would be a good picture, yes. So that's a, that's a hammer design we have on our first set of knives, which is, which is a two inch thick plate, has a sacrificial bushing inside, and has a four by four domite tip on it. Uh, and this would be the second set of knives, which is, uh, again, a three-quarter thick plate with a domite tip and, uh, again, a sacrificial bushing inside. So even though uh, Westfield and Lula use different knife equipment, uh, when we did the preparation index study from uh, Dr. Halbrickert's team, uh, we found the preparation index to be approximately the same. Uh, we had the same uh, preparation index with the uh, different knife equipment. The height above the carrier was the same, was around one inch. And uh, as one of, the, one of the few differences between uh, the knife equipment at Lula and, and Westfield is the, change the time taken to change the knives is a little bit more at Westfield because we have swing back set where if you, if you look, if you look it, has a, it has a lot of pins going through, all the way through and those pins hold the knives. So in order, you, you, there's no provision to change one knife. You'd almost have to pull the whole pin out and then insert knives and then pull the, push the pin back. So the, 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 the time to change the knives is a lot more. Yes, yeah, so based on these, uh, these two differences, we did find that the preparation index was almost the same. Again, uh, we would like to thank Cora, from Cora, Texas, Carlos Escamilla and Timmy Charley from Westfield, Mr. Edgar Gordillo and Jason Jirwa and Mill Test. Thank you for performing the Mill Test, Doc, Mr. Dr. Brackett and uh, Jeannie Stein. Sugar cane, sweet sugar cane Sweetness of our southern trees Sugar cane, sweet sugar cane Fireflies in the jasmine scented breeze There's a little shade beneath this tree that Shields me from relentless heat And afternoon shower possibly